here we are with week 3. And I always start with the same example of driving the car. <laughs> right, you have been driving the car uh, seamlessly probably right now. You enjoyed the, the coding experience that we gave you in the second week. People who are already introduced to programming might find it very boring. In fact, we are taking two-liner programs and calling them code, <laughs> right? This is like, I mean, this is unpardonable, I would say. But please bear with us. We will get into lines and lines of coding very soon. And things are going to get slightly complicated this week onwards in terms of the lines of code that we're going to write. So you learned the if loop from the previous week. As I told you, if you remember, the triangle that you should always remember is that of if, for, and while. We covered if, we'll be covering for and while today. Sounds like, as I said, English. The for of English, for you, for the sake of it. I mean, the word for there means something else, but the word for in computer science means entirely different thing. You'll get used to it with time. And the word while is, while I talk to you, I will sip my cup of coffee. But while in computer science means slightly different. I'll give you two analogies which will help you understand this week's content really well. To begin with, what if I said you keep jogging on the treadmill until I ask you to stop? You wouldn't know when I'll ask you to stop. I say you keep running until I ask you to stop. Right? This is called the while loop. While I remain silent, you continue jogging on the treadmill. The moment I say stop, then you stop jogging. While I remain silent, you jog. The moment I say stop, you stop. This is a typical example of a while loop in a layman's language. It's as simple as this. It's so commonsensical as this. In fact, the moment you write it on an editor, it gets a little complicated. But it is, it is simply this. Coming to the for loop, the third part of the triangle I keep talking about. The if, the while, now the for. The same example of a treadmill if I say, Keep jogging, count your steps, stop after a thousand steps. So what I'm trying to say is jog one step and keep counting, then two steps, keep counting and then three steps, keep counting and then four steps, keep counting and then five steps, up to thousand steps and then you stop. You may be wondering why would I do something as silly and stupid as this. You may not do it, but your tracker that you wear on your hand your smartwatch does it. Or sometimes even your cell phone has the ability to track your steps. Okay? It keeps tracking. The moment you finish one kilometer, it says one kilometer up, good going. Right? Which means something is counting behind. After a couple of kilometers, it's, it says your goal reached. You may please stop. That is a typical example of a for loop. Although this in no way helps you understand what is a for loop of Python. So let's get inside our uh, third week's content and get going with these two parts of the triangle, the for and the while statement.